Take a closer look at this intricate reconstruction of Notre Dame. You're seeing more than a billion points of data collected with laser scanners like this one to reveal structural nuances a normal picture never could. That's thanks to the work of Vassar College art professor Andrew Tallon, who died in November. This pinnacle is coming apart. Talon was a tireless advocate for Notre Dame's renovation. His work to digitally scan the cathedral is finding new relevance today. He and this building will forever be completely linked in my mind. Lindsay Cook was one of Talon's colleagues and former students at Vassar. It is the only place where we have that data preserved. The beauty is they can be used in new ways um, in future generations. In 2015, Talon gave a behind-the-scenes look at how he collected data at the National Cathedral in Washington. What the laser scan actually does is it sends out a beam, so it generates a whole cloud of data points that's extremely rich. Professor Cook walked us through some of Talon's Notre Dame data points. So what are we looking at here? We're looking here at a cross-section of the nave roof. She said it took him roughly two years to compile images, combining his scans with high-definition pictures like these to make his 3D models look as accurate as possible. Notre Dame's digitally influenced future may find inspiration from a popular video game as well. Artists from 2014's Assassin's Creed Unity reportedly also spent years digitally modeling the landmark, just like Talon. What do you think the biggest takeaway is from these models? Certainly it's wonderful to have a document that is a digital preservation uh, or a digital archive of this entire structure. After the fire, a top EU communications official said preserving with digitization is important for us and for future generations. Cook told us Vassar has not been approached for Talon's research, but says it's conceivable that his renderings could be used in the reconstruction. Jerika Duncan, CBS News, New York.